Hey everyone, it's Dr. Hodges. I am out for an afternoon walk. It is lovely outside. Well, I say that if you think I'm 100% humidity and in the 90s it's lovely. But hey, anything is better than snowmageddon, right? So what I want to talk a little bit about today is pregnancy and bariatric surgery. I recently had done a video on um, when is it safe to get pregnant after weight loss surgery? And people will ask me, A, can I get pregnant after bariatric surgery? The answer is yes. And B, is it safe to get pregnant after surgery? And again, the answer to that is yes. Of course, um, timing is always key. But what if we kind of reverse that question? What if you are a new mom You've gotten pregnant, you've had your little bambino, and now you wanna know, can I get bariatric surgery? Maybe I've always had some issues with my weight, or whenever you got pregnant, um, you gained some weight, and you would like to get it off, or you've just always struggled with your weight. What is some good timing after you've gotten pregnant? And so that's briefly what I want to speak about today. So, you know, there's not a lot of distinct studies that are out there, but I would say as a general rule of thumb, once you get pregnant and you have your baby and you are no longer breastfeeding or pumping, general rule is right about six months. And this is why. After you give birth, or maybe I should say this, before you give birth, there are a number of different changes that are going on in your body, to say the least. You have hormonal changes, you have anatomic changes specifically in your uterus, and you also have some significant cardiovascular changes that also take place. And after you give birth, these you need to give your body some time for your body to kind of quote unquote get back to normal. At least for the cardiovascular changes that occur, that can take six to eight weeks just for your body to normalize um, in terms of fluid, um, red blood cell production. Um, and changes to the, your vasculature itself. So, and that's just two months it can take. The other thing is, is that when you get pregnant, when you have this gravid uterus, that means big old pregnant uterus, um, it expands and it does take quite some time for that uterus um, to shrink back down. That is why you'll see ladies, and they might have been this big around before they got pregnant, and then they are pregnant, and when you see them from behind, they still look this big around. You only know they're pregnant because when they turn around, you see their little bellies. And But then after they have their baby, they still have a little bit of a belly, and that is because their uterus has not, it's still stretched out, it has not shrunk down to its normal size, which is about the size of your fist. So that too takes some time. And so, it's for these kind of specific anatomic reasons that you really need to give your body some time to kind of get back to where you were um, pre-baby. So that's from just an anatomic and um, hormonal aspect. So I'd say give yourself at least six months. Now, what if you are breastfeeding? If you are breastfeeding, I would certainly, let's say you've had your baby, and you're like, I want to get weight loss surgery. You meet criteria. You're now, it's six months afterwards, but you're still breastfeeding and you're still pumping. I would not recommend that you undergo weight loss surgery at that point because when you undergo weight loss surgery, number one, it's a big elective surgery. You're going to have anesthesia on board. There'll be different narcotics on board in the immediate post-operative period. But then also, you are going to have a significant decrease in your caloric intake. And so if you're still trying to create breast milk, that is not the time for you to have a big hit to the body, okay? So I certainly would not recommend that you have weight loss surgery if you are still breastfeeding or if you're still pumping, okay? Again, I'd probably wait just a couple of weeks after that. And then finally, what if, um, you are, oh crap, actually I think that that might be it. I was going to say something just about your weight, but the reality is, is that 
if you've been struggling with your weight, um, or maybe I should say this, it's not uncommon for women whenever they get pregnant to gain 20 pounds. That's usually 20 to 25 pound weight gain is what we considered a normal or healthy weight gain. And typically within the first couple of months after you give birth, um, especially if you're breastfeeding, you can lose the majority of that weight. So that's one other reason actually why you may want to wait to have weight loss surgery because maybe you had a BMI of 29, 30, and then you get pregnant, you get another 20, 30 pounds. Um, that may, depending on how tall you are, that might actually might push you up over BMI over 35. You may want to see, did that extra baby weight that you gained, you may be able to lose some of that um, within the first couple of months after, um, after you give birth and after you breastfeed. And you may find that you're really not a candidate for weight loss surgery after you've lost that initial baby weight. So with that being said, I think the general rule of thumb is wait six months if you can um, after you've given birth and after you've stopped um, breastfeeding. And this will allow you to have really, it kind of gets your body in the best possible space, a good baseline so you can have a good, healthy, safe pregnancy. So I hope that, uh, pardon me, a good, not a healthy, safe pregnancy, a good, healthy, safe um, post-surgical um, recovery. So I hope that this helped. Um, I could tell maybe the heat's kind of getting to me. That's why I seemed a little scattered. But I hope that this helped. And if you have any friends, please share this info with them. Bye.